people of God, praise the Lord. Praise Him again. Yes, indeed, we need to praise the Lord because if you don't testify, stones will testify and don't allow the devil to testify in your life in Jesus' name. I am called Boo Priska. My testimony goes up. The first day I visited this church, I was very happy. I went back home. Dogs used to dig the window, around the window of our window. Dig, there was a hole there. Dogs come there and sleep. They scream at times like baby. When my brother wife told me that I was disturbed, I came to church. Man of God blessed me with anointed living water. I went back home and spread on that area. The next day, the dogs now leave the area and came right in front of the house, in the veranda. People of God, I was shocked when I get up that morning. The whole veranda was stained. Until the landlady, the landlady and the children were not happy. They say you have brought dogs in this house since you started going to their church. I was discouraged, but I put on my faith at that moment because of the preaching of the major prophet. I came to church. I went back home that day and took the anoint and took the sermon for the day. It was the voice of the Lord. I meditated on the on the veranda that evening and said what is the voice of the Lord in this issue I dropped the anointed um, the anointed sermon on the veranda that night the next morning behold because in the veranda we don't claim we slept us it's always clean with white ties I got up the next morning the ties were very clean up to date at night as I dropped it I slept around 12 something Around 12 something, a dog came, hit on the veranda and screamed, screamed for a longer distance, just ran and went off. And that was just all about that. My second... My second testimony goes thus. I was not feeling fine. I came to church on the last healing service instant healing people of God for one week I have not been able to go to the toilet because of the past day I was stung by blood I was taken to the hospital after the hospital I left the hospital on a Sunday and came here when the service was going up man of God touched me outside there and said it is where and I claimed that it is where and went back I was supposed to go back to the hospital because I was not yet discharged I went back home my stomach was a little bit relieved. People of God, after that, I started vomiting blood. About 12 something in the night, I started vomiting blood. Blood. I was not even coughing blood. I was vomiting. The last time, that was the third time I got up to go and vomit. It, it was on the floor. Immediately, I oozed out blood and I decided to take a snapshot. I came back to the room. I said, no, this should not be happening. I pick up one anointing uh, uh, sermon and put inside my stomach, took the anointing oil, and immediately I said, Papa used to say, I'll do the spiritual while you do the physical. I took it up, I spread the anointing oil, I took the anointing oil in a cover. I took it, I said, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, I stop all these things. Behold, people of God, from that moment, it was over. Three days, I could not really eat something. Since I went to the hospital, they stopped it. I could not go to the toilet. It was almost taken up to a week. On that Thursday, I came here because I went to the hospital last Friday. On the other Thursday, that was healing service. I came here. I stood outside. My sister came up from the village and wanted to go back. I said, you are going back when I'm not even going to the toilet. I cannot bend with my stomach. It means it is not over yet. Take me to church for the healing service. My sister said she will not travel again. We came up here. I stood outside. I was just feeling dizziness. My body, I feel like falling. I lean on her. I bent down. It was not going. Immediately, my stomach was just making a type. I told him that I wanted. To, I told her that I wanted to eat myself. I ran in the people of God. That is where I relieved my. I released myself 
heavily before the service began i have already gotten my healings i praise god and before that i was very and when i come to church i cannot dance i love dancing even though i don't know how to dance but thanks to the church i can dance very well only to glorify god and not any other thing the last testimony is thanks to mama i appreciate mama for the preaching of the capable wife that preaching was very touching. If you are a married woman and you do not receive your own, I receive from my brother and the rest. I'm not married, but I receive a blessing from that sermon. When Mama declared that day, it was when my brother had just come back from Dubai. I was afraid to go towards him due to the past where we have been living. I was just feeling it. I said, but since I've been worshiping here with the prophet, there is this this part in me. I'm under his grace. I believe when my brother come back, he will not behave as usual since our mother died. He just used to be at time when you ask him, so I say it's not important for you. I used to plead for a phone. You say phone is not important for you. Computer school say phone is not important. Teachers training say phone is not important. He used to baffle me because even the child in class six has high parts. I, will, I used to die because I stay in the same house. So it was when Mama preached that day, the preaching was touching. He preached about a capable wife, how you can make your home. Like when you married into a family, you discover that your husband is the breadwinner of that family, or your wife is the breadwinner of another family. It's not good to detain. Mama, that thing, as immediately Mama was talking and declaring, I was just receiving, receiving. Something came over me saying, the past three years, as Mama died, when this man used to come, he used to, he, she used to cook his best food. And when he cooked that best food, the man was always happy. I just immediately reflect on it. I went back home that same day. I immediately got up the next day and prepared the best food my brother liked. I carried it in the flask. I was the first person to go to the house. By 8 o'clock, I turned full and the soup. I went there. As he was eating, people of God, behold, he got up and said, my grandmother, I'm quite bad, you know, my grandma embraced me. I was very happy by that. And I, that I was very happy. That was not just the end. I still continue. I was thinking of how Mama was declaring and talking. The manner in which she was speaking and moving, I said, God, Mama should be in this place at this time. Let this man just hear me for once. People of God, behold, when I ask, I did not even ask this time. I just told him that I really plead to go to school because I discovered I'm the only person in the house of nine that has had advanced level. And the thing has been going to the grandchildren. Nobody's progressing. I need to further a bit because you are not doing but government work. If today you are not there, your wife and children can survive. If there's nobody in the family, he said, yes, you have an idea there. It means you have to go and do your HND program. That was something I called him on the phone. He said he has no money. I should not disturb him. People of God, the end result was very happy. He blessed me with a phone. He removed his two SIM on the phone he was holding and gave it to me. If you turn the phone, it was not just an ordinary phone, but it is written honor on the phone. Praise the Lord. My advice to all my colleagues and all who are watching me and televiewers of my righteous TV, just come and receive your grace. Because I remember when I came here, I heard a lot. I left Yaoundé and came only for this third term holiday. I asked the people who were talking, have you been there? Have you been there? They said no. I said, wait here. Let me go and come back and tell you if that's not the right place to be. And since I came here, people of God, behold, our neighbors switch on to my righteous TV to watch. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you, Major Man. There is something you said about the sermon. Your brother that had been rejected yes. to you. Yes. When you went back with this sermon, what happened with him and the wife? I immediately, I immediately took the sermon and gave to the and gave him to read. He first of all read and said, No, give it to my wife. This sermon is for the, my wife. My wife should be the one to read it and follow you to the church. I, the wife said, No, give it to your brother. People of God, they were just content. I was smiling because when he came, he even had pie. As I went with the anointing water, I spread on him. I said, You have come with pie. One pie was there, wanted to prepare medicine. 
I said, just believe this what I'm giving you, the pie will be over. You will not go back to Dubai the same with the pie. People of God, he took it. I came again to church. As a wife read, I tried to come, I tried to talk to him. He said, no, I have to follow you to the church. That Wednesday, I asked my other brother, go and bring him. Let's go to church. I sent him. He went and heard the other one that did not come. He knew that I was angry. On Saturday service, he called me that he cannot absent that one. He has to come to the church here. On Saturday, behold, he told me that he's coming. I prepared his best second dish again when my mother used to cook. That same Saturday, following the same sermon, he came and ate and said, I have just two hours in church here. I just smiled and said, yes, two hours. When he ate the food, he said, I've, I've added another two hours to be in church. <laughs> So people of God that will see that he came here and, and um, he was blessed with his anointed water. He took it home. The wife never came. It was all where. When I, the last one for the pie came, I said, Major Papa, help me with any fruit from your altar. Let me take to him because he came and left before the torch. Major Papa gave me the fruit from the altar. I, I took it and went to him and gave him. I said, take it. It will be over. And believe me, he went back, the pie was over. Just by taking the fruits that came from the anointed stand, the anointed fruit, the brother was healed of his pie. 